Hello guys, welcome back to be Mrs. Frazier, or welcome if you are new. I am so grateful that you decided to click on today's video. As you can tell, it is a kitchen makeover. We are renovating our new kitchen, uh, and I say new, it's new to us. We recently moved from Nebraska down here to sunny Florida and bought this adorable 1980s ranch. The only thing not adorable is this kitchen, so we are tearing it out and making it all new. <laughs> So uh, a few weeks ago you saw a video where I kind of decluttered some boxes, unpacked, loaded them up into the cupboards, and honestly I really didn't want to do that, uh, knowing that we were eventually going to rip out the kitchen. Um, however, we needed the space. This got so decluttered and so full and it was just easier to unpack some of the boxes than to leave them in the box and just live out of boxes uh, because if anybody has ever moved y'all know it's hard to live out of boxes um, real quick here though this is why we are tearing this kitchen out if you can see all that in the bottom right there that is all mush like I don't know if there was a flood or what happened um, but the cupboards were gross, you guys, and my oldest even went through and cleaned all of them for me, and it, they're just disgusting. Like, I, I don't even know, I don't even know what's going on, but what are they, like 40-year-old cupboards? So, at some point, they need to re be replaced, and now is the time. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead, get everything taken out, and start tearing them down. Quite honestly, this process was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Even um, <clears throat> the installation was pretty easy of the new cupboards. I was actually pleasantly surprised because I thought it was going to be much more difficult. Um, I did probably a lot more supervising than helping. <laughs> um, my husband is definitely the muscle in this situation. So we do uh, end up keeping all the appliances. However, at some point I would like to replace them all. I They are the lowest of low in 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 whirlpool line and i just i'm not a fan of them um i mean our oven doesn't need the light there's no light unless you turn it on and i'm spoiled with my old you know oven we could you open it and the light comes on um i self-cleaning all that stuff i just i'm not a fan of the oven at all and quite honestly, I would love to be able to replace these with black stainless at some point. I love the black stainless. I think it's just so sleek. Um, however, our microwave, the OCR that you guys saw, that is brand new. We actually bought that when we first moved in here. I am so excited to announce, if you guys haven't noticed already, that I have finally hit a thousand subscribers and I am so incredibly grateful for each and every one of you. 
<clears throat> for giving me a chance in subscribing and following along on my YouTube journey. This has been a long time coming and I am so incredibly grateful. I, you know, I still haven't figured out the YouTube algorithm. I guess maybe it changes every day, but I am so incredibly grateful for each and every single one of you that have subscribed to my channel. Um, we have a lot in store, so if you haven't subscribed already, I would love for you to do so. It, it seriously means the world to me. Stars. We can sleep under the stars or hang out in hotel bars driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars. We can sleep Quite honestly, if these cupboards would have been in a lot better condition I probably would have just painted them like I did our old house um, If you haven't checked that video out yet, go ahead and do so I'll try to remember to link it up above for you guys so you can see that if you're interested in you know remodeling your kitchen on a tighter budget um, like you're not able to replace your cupboards or you know whatever the options may be for you I do have that video at my old house that I will be honest though replacing the entire kitchen has been much easier than painting our old kitchen uh, I don't know how that works but <laughs> it's the truth um, but anyway, I, I don't know. These, these cupboards, I'm just not a big fan of the wood. The kitchen in this house is super tiny, and so it just, it, it, the, the darker cupboards just made the space look super small. It made it look real dark. Uh, this area doesn't get a whole lot of sunlight, so that doesn't help either. So once you get all the cupboards out, or once we do, you will see the how much of a major difference and how much it brightened the area just removing these dark cupboards. So, and then make sure you stay tuned because we do get all the new cupboards put back in in this part <laughs> in the part one kitchen makeover here. But you're gonna definitely want to subscribe because you've got to come back and you got to see the final look. We have ordered granite and hopefully that'll be here maybe within the next week or two and that way you guys can see everything i also am going to be installing a backsplash i think i have a subway tile picked out however it's not your normal like smooth subway tile i don't know I i'm not 100 percent sure because i also like the hexagon tiles that i've seen so you're definitely going to want to come back. You're going to want to see how this kitchen turns out. So make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already. To a different sound. I'll leave the bitter taste of love. Come back, I'm finally free. The mirror I can see. A different me. I'll leave it all behind. I'll This whole section that you see Fred removing right now was one piece. Literally, I don't know if they like pieced cabinets together and connected it to make it, make it one or if it literally came off the truck that way, but it, it was crazy. It was like all just one piece, all put together. So anyway, I'm just going to finish getting this backsplash off. These tiles were super easy to come off. Uh, you can see, I mean, on the wall, there's barely any, uh, what is it, mortar, glue, whatever you call it, but yeah, so, and also we found a cute little surprise, some of the original wallpaper over there in the corner, um, yeah, I'm glad that wasn't an issue and I'm glad I did not have to remove that because removing wallpaper, oh, worst thing ever.
We are now ready to start installing the new cupboards. We originally were going to have this contracted and have somebody come in and install everything for us. Uh, we checked into Home Depot, we checked into Lowe's, we even kind of looked into some like contractors outside of those two companies. And you guys, if I wanted uh, cupboards by Thanksgiving, I would have to do, we would have to do them ourselves. Everybody is pushed so many weeks out and I don't think our kitchen would have been usable, honestly. They said, like, they were saying, like, 12 weeks, I'm, which is just crazy to me. So, anyway, this that's the reason we decided to do them ourselves. So, after looking at back and forth between Home Depot and Lowe's and kind of just seeing, you know, even looking on the internet at some places and seeing what cupboards were out there, uh, we opted to go with these ones. These are from Lowe's. They are the Diamond Now Arcadia Shaker, White Shaker Cabinets. So basically you can go on Lowe's.com and plan out your entire design. You just basically, I don't know, it kind of maps it out for you. Like you draw out the kitchen, the walls, and then you just pick whatever cabinets you want and you plug them in to where where you want them to go on your walls so it's not an exact science we did figure that out <laughs> um the hard way in fact we uh went in talked to the ca cabinet lady she helped us get a great discount on the cabinets and we purchased everything and you will see we do a lot of standing around because we end up taking some of the cupboards back and buying different cupboards and going back and forth with things. I think we went to Lowe's like every single day. Many of those days were like two, three times a day for like a week straight. It was crazy. But anyway, once we get everything up, finalized, I, I absolutely love how they turned out. You will see them here at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Gonna hurt even more than this does We gave it up, we had its time To say bye, baby, bye I'll be, you'll be, yeah, we'll be fine So let's call it a night and that's why I I know some of you might be interested in how much these cupboards cost. So this is a very small kitchen. Um, it's L-shaped, but we do end up adding kind of like a small island that's connected to the wall. <laughs> uh, you'll see that here in a little bit. But anyway, so it's a very small kitchen. Uh, I think it's about 11 and a half by 11 and a half feet, something like that. Uh, we ended up spending about $2,800, uh, $2,800 on just cupboards. That's not including um, nails, that's not including hardware, none of that. Uh, literally, it's just, just the cabinets. And I think, if I remember correctly, it would have been about double that if we would have had installation as well. So, just a thought. Um, like I said, it's really not that hard, you know, as long as you have enough hands, which we do. We definitely enlisted our kiddos to help with all of it. sure many of you are wondering too what that empty space is <laughs> that is above the sink we are going to put in some shelves I haven't decided if we're gonna do like floating shelves farmhouse style shelves I'm really not 100% sure on that yet but there will be some sort of shelving there I really wish we could put a light there however 
we're not electricians and quite honestly that just isn't in the budget for us to have an electrician come in and put a light there so I might get like one of those little like tap lights or like a battery light um, something like that I did pick up some like under cabinet lighting which is remote and battery operated so I'm super excited for those so that'll help with the lighting situation but I don't know I just like a light over my sink I really wish the sink would have been in front of the window quite honestly um, however again that would have been a whole different ball game if we would have had to move the plumbing so we didn't want to do that the only thing we really wanted to do was kind of change up what the cabinets looked like uh, we didn't really want to change up the actual footprint of the house we don't need no fuel Another thing to remember with these cabinets, when you when they come in, they do come in with like a plastic sheeting over the front of the doors to help protect them. However, we did have a handful of things go a little bit wrong. Um, not necessarily a handful, but I think uh, maybe three of the cupboards were damaged. One we did end up keeping because it's just a drawer, a drawer front and the company does stand by their product and will send you out a new drawer. Um, but a couple of the other ones, the boxes were damaged. So not the boxes, they come in the box, the cabinet itself. Uh, so we did have to take them back and exchange them for new ones, which quite honestly really wasn't that big of a deal. Um, they honestly, the one that we did keep with the drawer, issue uh, they would have exchanged that one too but they didn't have any in stock so um, that little tidbit there from Lowe's was a sneak peek of what's to come you guys will not see that in this video that is going to be the wall <laughs> in the dining room uh, this is a kitchen dining room connected situation so anyway make sure you're subscribed because you definitely want to see that another thing I wanted to do the kids and I wrote um, scriptures or just a fun quote that we like on the wall behind the cabinets um, at our old house when we removed or when we had to replace the microwave there was some uh, inappropriate male appendage pictures <laughs> drawn and some cuss words drawn behind the microwave and so I guess we felt like that wasn't very appropriate <laughs> so we went ahead and put something that we liked and felt that I don't know it, it was just something we liked I actually got the idea of from this from Charlotte Grove Farmhouse over she's on YouTube and Instagram so anyway uh, there it is guys so we're getting everything installed we got the little scriptures written on the wall and we are rocking and rolling getting things done wasn't talking to myself now and then i'll try to laugh but i'll cry but as well i was never any good at being away from you i met you in the summer when you left it was cold said we loved one another what you're seeing Fred work on is, this is the Lazy Susan, it does not come with like a surrounding box, so to support the weight of the countertops, we had to install some 2x4s onto the back wall there. Um, Fred just screwed them into the studs, so that way that support of the granite has somewhere to go besides on the top of that Lazy Susan, because it won't hold it. So um, now I'm just kind of trying to clean up and get things moved out of the way so we can move on to installing the cupboards that will become an island. You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody so initially when we did the drop on Lowe's website, um, it said that like a 72 inch island would fit our area and actually it won't. <laughs> uh, we remeasured and remeasured again and then with the fridge 
and where the stove and everything is on the other side of the wall. Um, it just it just didn't make sense to have an island that big. So we right now we're kind of discussing um, what to do with those cable boxes uh, because those are that that cable line right there is the only cable line in our entire house that actually works. <laughs> so. Um, we don't have cable, uh, we just have the internet, Wi-Fi, you know, the normal stuff, so. Anyway, so we went ahead and left it, and then Fred just cut out a hole in the side of the cabinet to make sure that everything fit in it. We also weren't going to remove the tile that was under there, but it made it about a half inch taller than the rest of the cupboards, and I was like, no, we need to do this right, we're spending, you know, a lot of money, not near as much as a lot of people spend since we're doing a lot ourselves, um, but we're still spending a lot of money, and so I just wanted to make sure it got done right, so Fred did remove all the tile, um, and then we... YouTube videos and found out how to install the island basically by screwing a 2x4 into the ground. So made that work, got everything set up and situated and then we also decided last minute that we wanted a cupboard above the fridge. We weren't going to but I decided that I did want that. So. Fred's going to go ahead and install that. I will say another thing too while I'm thinking about it, um, since I just saw me putting in the shelf in these base cabinets, the other thing I don't like are half shelves. These cabinets, these base cabinets come with half shelves in them and I, I don't like them. I wish that the shelf, or I wish it gave you the option to have a full shelf. So, um, it works. I made it work when I started filling up these base cabinets. You'll see here towards the end, I do start uh, unboxing a lot of stuff. So, I made it work, but if I have a complaint, that is definitely, definitely it. I'm gonna rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. It's like to be broke, yeah I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down <laughs> Yeah, I am on my way Another thing I thought about doing over the stove, we measured the old cabinets and used that measurement to put in the new cabinets um, for where the, the OTR microwave will be. And quite honestly, I feel like it's just too big. I'm half tempted, I'm debating, it's $150 for a new uh, 12 inch cabinet instead of the 18 and <laughs> I am really uncertain on what to do. I don't know. You guys, let me know down in the comments. Do you think I should change that out or leave it? Um, you should be able to see here in this video, you can see how close the, the range is to the microwave. And I'm just not sure that I like that. I... I don't know. When when Fred first installed the microwave after we got all the cabinet, cabinets put in, I was like, wow, that's really low. But it's the same size cabinet that was there before, and it didn't seem that low then, but it does now. So I don't know what the deal is, but I'm I'm half tempted to spend the money and change it out. I, uh, it, it sucks to realize realize these mistakes afterwards. It is amazing how much space in the covers that we have now after redoing them uh, compared to what we had before. I, you know, it's just maximizing your space is so important and we really did that here. We made sure and calculated every tiny square inch that could be used as covered space to be used besides right there above the sink. Um, we have no spacers or filler pieces, everything everything is being ut utilized so we also did that because currently we're using there's a closet when you come in from the garage and it is 
I don't know if it's supposed to be a linen closet or a pantry, but it's a shelved closet. And currently we're using that as pantry space, but realistically we really need some sort of linen closet because I need somewhere to put like all my vacuums or mops, you know, toilet paper, paper towels, all those types of things. And we don't have anywhere to do that. So I've been trying to figure out storage spaces around the house for some of those things but we, we really just need to basically get rid of the pantry and use it as a linen closet. So that was another reason we wanted to maximize our cupboard space because we also want to move our food into the cupboards, which I will be putting into the Lazy Susan and then one of the upper cabinets at some point. So definitely make sure you come back because there's still a lot of organization that needs to be done. Um, as I'm putting things away, I'm very much noticing that organization needs to happen so I might have to take a trip over to Orlando even though I don't want to to go to the cabinet store and get some organization tools and try to figure some organization situations out here you know the great thing about not having storage is utilizing as much as you can so anyway we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of this stuff put away as much as possible and then that'll be pretty much the end of the video so make sure you guys give this a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe if you aren't following already you're definitely gonna want to come back and see what this kitchen looks like because I'm sure your minds will be blown anyway guys have a great weekend and we will see you next week in next week next saturday's video <laughs> anyway guys bye <laughs>